Did you know that around 1,200 tornadoes form every year inside of the United States? Hi everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in today's video we will discuss how catastrophic events like floods, hurricanes, and tornadoes impact ecosystems. Natural catastrophic events have a devastating impact, such as disrupting the balance in an ecosystem and destroying the habitat of plants and animals. Meteorologists can predict disaster events like floods, hurricanes, and tornadoes, giving us enough time to evacuate away from the danger. Floods happen when the ground, creeks, streams, and rivers are not able to absorb and hold water coming from rainfall. That's why early warning systems have been developed, which analyze heavy rainfall patterns and measure the water levels of rivers and streams. Suppose the meteorological data forecasts a continuous heavy rainfall and the water levels of rivers and streams are higher than the safe limit, there's a very high risk of a flood. But what happens during a flood? While the kinetic energy of the moving water along with the layers of sediment it is carrying can uproot or bury plants, destroy roads and buildings, drown animals, and reshape the topography of the region. Not only that, but floodwaters can also carry pollutants and harmful contaminants into the ecosystem this can severely damage organisms and their habitats. We can also detect and predict incoming hurricanes as well. Hurricanes are formed over warm ocean waters. As ocean water evaporates, the air pressure around that area decreases, warmer rises, while the cooler air moves down. And this process continues to repeat itself and creates enormous clouds and thunderstorms. Finally, as these clouds and thunderstorms grow, they rotate because of the Earth's Coriolis effect, forming hurricanes. By following the movement of these tropical storms and using computer models to forecast their path, we can predict where a hurricane will hit. But the most damage hurricanes cause is to the coastal areas and coastal ecosystems because they come from the sea. The intensity of winds from hurricanes damage anything in their path and cause widespread floods and land erosion. Not only that, Powerful hurricane storms can knock down trees and other vegetation, destroying the habitat and food source of many animals. Hurricanes can also force some species to move to new habitat. This can have negative consequences for native species, as the competition for food, shelter, and other resources becomes more fierce. Tornadoes are also catastrophic events that damage ecosystems. They're violent rotating columns of air that extend from the base of storm clouds. Tornadoes are formed when warm air rises inside clouds and the cooler falls along with rain or hail. Such conditions create spinning air currents inside a storm cloud. These spinning currents first start out horizontally, but they can drop vertically, creating a tornado. By keeping track of the movement of thunderstorms and using Doppler radars to detect the formation of storm clouds, we can predict the formation of tornadoes. Although tornadoes affect a much smaller area than hurricanes and are less common, the wind speeds in a tornado are much stronger. Tornadoes can easily rip apart houses and other structures in their path. They also create flying debris that damages the environment, uprooting trees, and destroying the habitat of animals. Let's read what we just learned. When drainage systems and water level of streams and rivers can no longer hold any water during heavy rainfall, a flood breaks out. By looking at the forecast of heavy rainfall on the water level of our drainage systems, we can predict the risk of floods. A flood can lead to the death of organisms, uproot or bury plants, destroy roads and buildings, and permanently change the topography of a region. Hurricanes are formed in the sea when warm air rises to form thunderclouds. The Coriolis effect causes the growing clouds to spin, creating a hurricane. By tracking the movement of these tropical storms and using computer models, we can forecast the path of a hurricane and predict where it will hit.